hey guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i'm going to show you uh, how to make use of joint limits in fusion 360 to make your joint more realistic and more uh, uh more realistic yeah so uh when you when you are working on assemblies and uh, joints so uh, when you have combined two different components by uh, some joint whether they are sliding or rotating or any kind of joint so next step is to limit the joint for example here i have an example of a hinge so i have made the orange part fixed and the blue part movable as you guys can see but as you guys can see that if i try to move the green part it is it is allowable to move all across the 360 degree angle and it does not care if it gets intersect with the yellow one so the one solution is to enable the contact sets is to enable the contact sets between these two body that that will uh, uh, that will what create what that when the blue portion will uh, try to intersect the the uh, orange one the orange one will act as a solid body for the blue one and it will prevent the motion of the blue one beyond that but that requires very heavy software performance and it is uh, it is uh, all based on your computer performance so the easiest and the simplest way is to set your joints limit so for example uh, i want this part let me just switch to the side view for example i want this to be the minimum limit i want this to be the starting and i want this for example uh, this uh, position as to be the end so i am going to restrict my motion from this point to this point only so for that what i have to do is uh, uh, just go to the, from the tree just uh, open the joint select the joint so suppose that uh, the joint of this was revolute one just click on right click and click on edit joint limit so here the motion would be uh, automatically rotate because i have given rotational motion joint between them so you have two option either to uh, for minimum and the maximum limit so here is the column for minimum as you guys can see i can select the minimum so i am going what i am going to sell see select it uh, let's say 144 degree is the minimum value that the blue part can move similarly i can choose the maximum value also let's suppose that i am going to uh let, okay yeah so the maximum would be let's see is 150 and the minimum would be let's say 10 degrees yeah so i can just animate the to check whether it's done or not and I suppose that if I just press OK and hide the joint, now my joints are re restricted to that uh, in between those two angles only. So if I try to move, I have, I have, I'm not allowed to move my component beyond that. So this is how your uh, limit works. So it uh, it does not only works with the rotational command. So suppose that uh, uh, this is a sliding mechanism. I have already uploaded a video of it. You guys can check the link in the description. Suppose that I want to restrict the uh, motion by uh, uh, in terms of this sliding. So this is the sliding four. If I just right click and click on edit joint limit. So here is the minimum and the maximum. You can just can set all both of them. So this uh, I I am going to set the minimum to minus 65 and the maximum to suppose that minus 15 and press ok now if i just try to move this you guys can see that it is only uh, uh, going to uh, between those two limits and if i just try to rotate it it is not rotating cause uh, that uh, joint limit is restricting the motion hence the yellow part is not able to move 360 degree so this is how the joint limit is work works in fusion 360 so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day